Hello people of YouTube. This is my Chinese shoe patching sewing machine. We've all seen them. $99, $110, whatever. Yeah, this is nothing special. It's the same thing that everyone else gets. The only problem was, or the only difference is, I put about 40 hours of cleaning and polishing and sanding and et cetera, et cetera, tuning, getting it working so it doesn't chop thread all the time. You can even go through a couple of pieces of 10 ounce veg tan like butter. I've also modified it a little bit. As you can see, this is the major thing. I didn't like how slow or how, it, how fast it required you to go with just the servo motor. This is just a regular little, I think it was a 550 watt servo motor conversion for those uh, industrial machines. Um, the slowest speed was still too fast. I'll show you how fast it goes in a minute. But basically, everything, eBay kit, I forget the, the brand name. Yeah, Conso makes it, C1000. I think it was 550 watts, maybe 750. I know it's upside down, that's the only way I could screw it to my table. Um, but basically, I didn't like how slow it went, so what I ended up doing was gearing it down. McMaster car, McMaster car, McMaster car, McMaster car, McMaster car for the shaft. And this is just 5 16 poly belt stuff you get on, on the internet on eBay. You hold a lighter between the two and then you just stick the two together and then shave the little bead that forms off there and voila, you got yourself a belt. Um, and then this shaft that goes to the machine itself, that was another eBay special for around, I think, 90 bucks. It came with this 11 and a half inch pulley and then the shaft itself, it just adapts into the existing cams and the, uh, the, the chassis of the sewing machine by itself. And then this little, this little affair right here, just, I like the big eight ounce spools and, um, the, the thread's really light. It just kept spooling up around the top. So I just made this container thing just to hold it. So it comes out in one piece and then, uh, or it doesn't, doesn't get knotted. And then, uh, through the eyelet up there. So anyway, oh, um, this right here, automatic thread bobbin winder. I just take the screw out right here, drop the bobbin in there, pull this up, and then I hit the gas, and it spins, winds the bobbin. When I'm all done, pop it off and install it. Um, can't really think of anything else. I'll show you how it works. This is two pieces of veg tan, 10 ounce. This is as slow as it goes. I'll step back a little bit so you can see the throttle. You can adjust the speed in the controller for the servo motor. I've got it only, this is 200 RPM at the motor. So you can see how slow it goes. And then if I wanted to go wide open, this is wide open. And as you can see, makes real quick work of the veg tan. I like making boots. Basically I'm, I'm putting myself together a pair of, uh, just, this is the upper right now. Got it put together, but this machine just zipped right through. This is all five ounce chrome tan. Got it at Tandy. Um, got another one here. It's all done. Well, the upper's done. Just got to put it on the lasts and uh, mix it boots. So anyway, enjoy. Later.